Hey everybody, Goldie here, and we're back with Rey Mysterio WCW's Ultimate Cruiserweight. Um, I did a preview with no gears, so this preview is going to be with just the one. So we've got the orange and black gear equipped, and the boost, well actually let's look at it first. So, it is in fact orange and black. Those are kind of fun. So one gear means moves that generate column break gems will create six more column breaks. And I want to note that it does not matter which of these gears you own. The boosts are reflective of how many you own. So it doesn't matter if you have the orange and black or the red and black. This will always be the first boost and you will unlock the second boost when you acquire both. So you could get the red and black one instead, does not matter, this will be the boost. So I'm only gonna look at like two move sets, I think with the one gear, um, not like super game breaking in terms of some of the other move sets I previewed. We're just gonna look at the column break ones uh, because it frees up a trainer. So the first move set we're going to look at, um, I'm gonna finally preview green one. So it's green one with double blue. Uh, springboard crossbody, 1 MP, deal 33,650 damage, and make four random purple gems into column break gems. The Diving Hurricane Rana, 6 MP, deal 68,991 damage, and choose six gems to make into purple gems. And the Diving Splash, also 6 MP, deal 72,379 damage and choose four gems to make into column breaks. So each of these moves is going to put out 10 column break gems, meaning we don't need Farouk and we don't need Powerhouse Drew. So what we're going to do is Lawler to get the blue moves going on turn one. This is one MP, do not need an MP trainer. We're gonna use Slick Rick to boost um, all of our gem damage by 20%. Showboat Lacey for purple and green gem damage, and Afa for blue gem damage. And with regards to the strap, I mean, go ahead and crash. <laughs> Alright, we're back after a portal crash. Um, with regards to the belt, I'm keeping it the same as I did for my first video. Full Fury, blue percent, again, really don't need a plate. So I'm just gonna run without because he doesn't need it. All right, so. We are making 10 random purple gems into column breaks and then we're choosing 10 gems to make into column breaks. So this is just the over, it's overkill city. So let's just do that. Cool. And then we can make more column breaks. And you can just like scatter them. Because it don't matter. And then you make your purple gems. And we're gonna do that. And it's gonna go there. And it's gonna go up and explode. And uh, we're just gonna put more purple gems over here to do more gem damage. Blow! That's a decent turn one, I guess. A mill. You know, not bad. Whatever. He's trash. He's trash. I'm totally kidding. Um, that's going to be insane with the second gear. 
I can already tell. Let's take a look at one more moveset um, with this one gear. Do you remember in my first ray preview when I tried the trap move and I said, eh, and then during the match I went, eh? Here we go. Uh, so we're going to bring in uh, purple three, which is the five star move, the Mysterio Canrana, five MP, deal 64,656 damage, and choose six gems to make into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, move the pin bar left by seven notches. If broken by you, increase your purple gem damage by 15% for two turns. So I completely whiffed on this move in my first preview. I'm like, oh, I don't really see why you'd want to, it's only 15%. Uh, Goldie, you idiot, break them yourself all at once. You don't need the opponent breaking them for you. I, I get it now. I've seen the light. So we are going to keep the exact same entourage. We're going to use Lawler to get going on turn one. Uh, we're going to use Slick for more gem damage. And then Lacey and Afa keeping the belt the same. No plate, not needed. And uh, this time we're going to break the traps ourselves and then just explode the board, flood it with purple gems. It's going to be lit. Okay, so our blue moves are ready to go, but I'm going to wait until, um, wait until we have all the moves ready. So, excellent, excellent. This is probably going to take a couple cycles, but bear with me. Put down the column breaks. You don't need to place more than seven with this build and the only the one gear. So we're going to place the traps. It doesn't matter where you put them as long as you don't cover a column break. And then we've got all of our column breaks set out. You can explode the entire board and this should recycle everything. So it recycles everything and it boosts our gem damage. And uh, he's not kicking out, is he? <sighs> oh. All right, one more try. So the blue moves are ready to go, but I want to wait until everything's ready on the same turn. I'm going to take this purple now. And then we'll set up. So, we'll go here. So we'll place the column breaks here. And this way we should break enough blues. Not that it matters, but I don't want to like cover. And then we'll place the traps. So our base is eighteen thousand. Break all six trap gems at 15% per. Oh, I guess I don't need to make it. Whatever. So 90% boost to our purple gems. Matt, really?
All right, take three. Purple map. Lay the column bricks. Again, you're not doing damage per column break, so don't need to place them all. Place the traps. Place your purples. And for the love of God, please kick out. Please kick out. I didn't hear that sound. We didn't hear the sound. Okay. Promising. Come on. Oh, bless your heart. Oh, bless your heart. So our base purple damage before was 18,600 something. Now it's 35. So we boosted it by 90%. And what we're gonna do is the exact same thing we just did. Lay our column breaks. Don't need to place them all. Gonna lay our traps. There's the noise. So over a mill. Very, very nice. So with one gear, actually, I'll go into that spiel when we conclude the preview. Okay, let's conclude the preview. So with the one gear, basically what it does is just um, freeze up a trainer or coach. You don't need to use Farouk. You don't need to use Powerhouse Drew. So any of the column break move sets, you would be able to use um, like a, either Slick for all gem damage. If you wanted to do an armor build, you could put on Honky Tonk Man. You could do a, a purple or a blue move um, damage build. So that's what the set. That's what the first set of gear does. The second set of gear we will be getting into in another video. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.